The thermometer is dropping, there's snow on the ground, it's cold outside. So I'm inside and I wanna make something warm. Today we're gonna to make mulled wine. So come with me, let's try this recipe together. So there are a ton of different recipes out there for mulled wine. So I just picked one and there's just some basic ingredients. First of all, you wanna have a red wine and usually it's a dry red wine. So we're gonna use Cuca Spring Vineyards Epic Reserve. It's their 2015. And then we're also going to add some spices and that is one of the biggest parts of mulled wine. You need to have spices. And there's all different things that you can use, but today we're gonna to use cinnamon sticks. We're gonna use anise stars and also whole cloves. Fruit is the next ingredient. We have sliced oranges. Plus we're gonna sweeten the mulled wine a little bit because mulled wine is usually a little bit sweet. So we have some white sugar and then we have brandy. Let's stir this up and we're gonna put it on the stove for at least 30 minutes up to three hours. When you're heating the mulled wine, you wanna make sure that it doesn't boil because alcohol evaporates. So we want it to simmer. So you want to start off with medium high heat and then bring it down to medium low heat and just let it simmer for again, that 30 minutes to up to three hours, depending on how good you want your home to smell. Our mulled wine has been simmering on the range for about 30 minutes and I'm dying to try this. So it smells great. We're gonna ladle this into our mugs here. And I've already sliced up some additional oranges so it looks nice in the mugs. A cinnamon stick in each and let's give this a try. The moment of truth. And I'm the guinea pig, which we get to <laughs> test this out on. It smells very spicy. Mm. Tart. Yeah, it's very tart and we used a very dry wine. This is what they call, in Scandinavia, this is what they call glog, isn't it? So glug or Glühwein in Germany, there's all different types of pronunciations and words for mulled wine, which you also see in Britain. I remember I did a ski race in, in Norway one time and along the trail, a spectator actually handed me something to drink, which oh. I wouldn't normally take it, but I was like, I'm in Norway, I'm doing this. And I took it and it was this. And uh, that's the first time I've had it. It reminded me of that as soon as I tasted it. I was like, that's what mm. this was. Mm. It was glug. Oh, it's a great way to warm up, whether you're doing a ski race or if it just happens to be winter time. And what a great idea for a new winter tradition. And it's something that you could probably try during the holidays for your guests. Yeah, I agree. So, I'm Leah. I'm David. And we'll see you at our next video installment here at Wine Forecaster. Of note, one bottle of wine equals two mugs of malt cider. <laughs>